Hi YouTube, it's Kylie, and in this video I'm going to be playing with my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Bling Boss palette. So I'm just going to be doing kind of like a more purple eyeshadow look and finishing off the rest of my makeup. I obviously already have my base on, so I have my eyebrows done and my foundation done just to save a little bit of time. So I guess I'm just going to get into doing my eyeshadow. I already primed my eyes using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and then I just set that with some Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. So to start off, I'm just going to be taking my blending brush from BH Cosmetics and the color Hush Hush, which is this light purple, and I'm going to start that as like a transition shade. And also, I'm going to only do one eye on camera, and then I'm going to go and do the other one off camera just to save a little bit of time. So I'm going to start just by blending this into my crease. I'm going to use this shade pretty lightly. I'm just going to blend it up kind of high so that when I put uh, the darker purple, it will not look super harsh, and it will look perfectly blended out. So now I'm going to be going in with the color Rockstar, and I'm using the same brush. I'm going to try to go in pretty lightly with this, so I just tapped it in there a couple times, and I'm going to tap off the excess and then bring it in a little bit lower than the last color I just put so that it can darken up the crease and make it more purple. And I'm just going to be packing on the shadow a little bit right here so that I can get a pretty vibrant purple. taking a brush that's a little bit smaller so that I can use this color right here sparks and I'm going to put this more in like the outer crease and it looks really red in the pan but when I put it on my eye for some reason it's pretty purple still so I'm gonna use this just to help darken up the outer corner a little bit more using this smaller brush just so that I can kind of be more precise with where I'm putting this color and I'm going to blend it in to the inner corner also so that the color is kind of everywhere and I'm just packing that on a little bit and then I will use that fluffy brush to blend it out with the purple color again. So now I'm going to take the blending brush and I'm going to use Rockstar again top off the excess and blend it in with that reddish shade. So I'm going to be taking this brush and it has no product on it so I'm going to take a little bit of my Cody Airspun translucent powder on that brush just like a tiny bit and then I'm going to tap it off just like this. And I'm going to use this to blend right up here a little bit more so that it's not going up so high and so close to my brow bone. I've actually been playing with these uh, Jaclyn Hill palettes, the Vault Collection, recently, and I feel like they're growing on me because in my last video, I kind of said I wasn't quite sure how I felt about them. And they are a little difficult to blend, don't get me wrong, but I feel like the colors are so beautiful that like it's worth it. I did this purple, like a purple purpley eye look like three times now and I just love how the colors end up looking in the end. It just looks so beautiful. I'm going to take that brush that I put the burgundy shade on with and I'm going to use a little bit of Mystic which is this deeper purple and I'm going to put that once again in my outer corner just like this to darken it up even more because I think it needs it. So for this color, I'm going to try and keep it more focused towards the inner, like close to the outer corner and not bringing it out into my transition shade. So I'm going to keep it really just right in here and bring it up here a little bit, but I'm not going to drag it like out because I wanna make sure I keep the transition shade so that it can look nice and blended out. And I'm going in kind of lightly with this color just because I don't want it to get too dark. So I'm going to go back in with that blending one and just blend this out a little bit. So I'm going to be taking this flat brush. It's the one that comes with the Urban Decay Naked palettes. And I'm going to take some e.l.f. setting spray and just spray my brush. 
And then I'm going to go in with the color Ballsy. It's this purpley color. And I'm going to put that onto my lid. I always use setting spray with my glittery shadows because I feel like it always makes them more vibrant and like just pretty on the eyes. So now I'm just going to put that onto my eyelid. I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to take bling bling and I'm going to put that over top of Balsley just like this. All right, and now I'm going to go back in with my blending brush in a tiny, tiny bit of Rockstar, and I'm just going to blend this a little bit to get the shimmer that I just put on there blended in. And then I'm gonna go in with this brush once again and blend the top a tiny bit. All right, so I'm really liking how this is looking so far, so I'm going to go ahead and do this on my other eye, and then I will be back to finish it off and do eyeliner and lashes and, like, everything else on my face. I'll be right back with this eye finished. I'm gonna go in with my Nicole Guerrero Anastasia highlighting kit and then a just flat brush. I'm going to take a mixture of Glow Getter and Forever Young and put that on my brow bone. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D tattoo liner for my wing, and then I use the e.l.f. eyeliner for my, like, actual line. So I'm going to start with the e.l.f. and just do a normal line of eyeliner. I'm going to do my ring with the tattoo liner. I'm going to go over it with this e.l.f. eyeliner. be taking this BH Cosmetics brush. It's just kind of like an angled blending brush and I'm going to go in with this color Hush Hush on my lash line. And then I'm going to be using Rockstar with the same brush along my lash line as well. And I'm only going to take that to like the middle of my eye and then tap off the excess, get a little bit of Hush Hush, and blend them in. Now I'm gonna be taking my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Midnight Cowboy, and I'm going to put this on my lash line. I'm going to be using this white highlighter from my Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette. Any white eyeshadow would work. I'm just going to be highlighting my inner corner. I'm just going to take the colors that I used for my brow bone and put those over top. Now I'm going to be doing a layer of mascara on my top lashes and then I'm going to do my bottom lashes too, but I do like two layers on my bottom. I'm going to be taking my Kiss lashes in number 11 and my Duo Lash Glue. This is the clear one that has like the brush applicator and I'm going to pop on my lashes real quick. So while my eyelash glue is drying, I'm going to take my contour kit and this fluffy brush and I'm going to use the color Havana and bronze up my face a little bit. Now I'm going to 
gonna take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and a angled brush and I'm going to use this also where I just put the bronzer. Now I'm going to just dip the sides of the brush into the bronzer and run it down the sides of my nose. Then I'm going to take just a normal brush and just kind of blend that in a little bit. I'm going to use my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero highlighting kit, glow kit, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to use the colors Forever Young and Glow Getter, the ones that I used on my brow bone, to highlight my nose. So you gotta just go down the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna do a little layer of eyeliner over top of my eyelash glue. So I just put that layer of eyeliner on top to help it not be so noticeable and to try to help being able to see the glue. I'm gonna take my Tarte Amazonian Clay blush in the color Party and an angled blush brush and put a little bit of this just on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to apply some highlighter, just the same ones I put on my nose and my brow bone onto my face. I'm just mixing those together and popping it on my cheekbones. I'm just going to use some rose water to set my face. And then for lips, I think I'm going to use this uh, ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Aquarius. It's just like a little bit darker than my lip color. That is the final look. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will see you again soon.